Welcome back, everybody, to the next episode from Iron Curtain Gaming. Uh, appreciate you guys and your patience. Last week, we took a little week off, did a little uh, teabagging there. That was uh, a good time. I think we all enjoyed that. But we are definitely back to production as normal here. This week, we're uh, not so much doing a build grade, though, as a science experiment. If you'll recall back to the shoebox video, where we got to talking about a certain base design and whether or not it would be viable, it got me thinking. And what I realized and what we've learned over the course of all of our grading videos is that when you're building a base out of solid steel or if you happen to be a particularly low brow type of individual and you build your base out of stainless steel, which you'll recall is not actually available in game legitimately, it seems that your base design kind of doesn't matter. It, uh, the durability of those materials will pretty much carry the crappiest ideas from start to finish. There's just too much there for most Horde Knight Zeds to do anything substantive to. Now, of course, you can have demolition guys will come along, and if two hit the same steel block, they'll take that block out, you know, first down to concrete and then into powder, but... In general, you know, there's not enough demo guys on any given night that they're going to do a ton of damage to the right kind of design. And enough of that steel, it's just not going to matter. So what we have done is come up with a little experiment we are calling the block. This is as basic as it gets. This is a 10 by 10 by 6 cube of solid steel sitting on dirt. There's no tricks, there's no gimmicks, nothing. You, the only legitimate way to get up into this thing is to frame walk up it, which we'll probably do just for, you know, grins before the Horde Knight. You'll have a couple of spare frames sitting down here on the ground, no, no big deal there. But other than that, we're just going to be up there, standing on these iron bars, shooting down. Initially, when I built this thing, I had wrapped the exterior in blade traps and was trying to do... A, uh, a more thorough horde video based on what we had gotten to talking about in the shoebox vid. But once I realized what we were playing with and the idea started kicking around in the group where Steel will let you get away with, you know, basically any shit or idea you can come up with, uh, I decided to strip this thing down to the bare minimum and we're going to run a test on this. The hypothesis that I'm proposing here is that if you're watching a video online, and the base itself is primarily made out of steel or stainless steel, that it's basically impossible for it to fail. And the second part to that is that the design you use, if you're building out of either of those materials exclusively, it doesn't matter. That it's going to be so strong that whatever tricks, whatever gimmicks, whatever you're you know, trying to route, do with pathing or traps or whatever, it's basically a moot point. They're not going to be able to do enough to it to bring the whole thing down. If this thing succeeds, I think it's going to definitively prove that point because this is just a brick. There's no thought that went into this. This is the most basic thing imaginable. The only sort of addition to it is the fact that it has a roof just to help corral some of that vulture spit because I'm sure there'll be plenty of that in the course of the evening. For supplies needed, you know, like a B-ish, a B-minus, somewhere in there. Uh, it's just a block of steel. You know, can you make steel? Here it is. For build difficulty, you know, obviously an A. This took a few minutes to put together. It's just a cube. There's no trick. There's no gimmick here. Going into this Horde Knight, what's obviously going to happen is we are going to burn a shit ton of ammo. If this knight comes in under 25,000, I'll be amazed. Counter to that, I think there's essentially a 0% chance they're going to bring this down. I don't think that any Horde Knight will bring enough to bear to actually kick this thing over. I think it's just too goddamn durable. It's likely that chunks will be taken out of this. It's very likely that they may wade into it a little bit. You know, there's going to be some holes. There's going to be some pits here. Things are going to happen. We might lose some of these iron bars. The five of us up there shooting down all night are going to be relatively safe. If that pans out and if this thing works... What I think it shows definitively is that if you're building out of steel and pushing a video, you're watching someone who's building out of steel and pushing a video or an idea as sort of the best, the cleanest, the safest, the cheap, whatever, that it doesn't matter. Whatever ideas they're injecting into a solid steel build isn't going to have any real bearing because it essentially can't fail 
unless they've overthought it to the point where they introduce some sort of failable mechanic into it. I hope that makes sense to everybody. I hope you see where I'm going with this. I'm really curious to see how this holds up in the night. If this works, though, I think we can put the, uh, the nail in the coffin for quite a few of the base design videos out there. You know, game state, obviously ours is really high. We're all at or near max level, so our Horde Knights are usually pretty bumping. There's a lot of irradiated. With a couple of exceptions, we get a lot of demo guys on any given night. Uh, so if this thing stays standing, you can pretty much delete conservatively half the base ideas off of YouTube because it just doesn't matter. They're built with steel. They're built with stainless steel. The design, the way they're put together is of no importance. It's just a matter of durability. And if you build out of these materials, whatever thought process you're putting into it is a moot point because they're never going to be able to break it anyways. Let's see if this idea holds up. Let's see if we can actually uh, prove the concept here and the science uh, pans out. Five right. bucks says uh, X dies. <laughs> Shut up. Regardless of anybody else, X. X no will face. make the ultimate fast uh, sacrifice this night. No face. That's a dark-ass horde night. Yeah, you know, just thinking we probably could have stood to uh, put up like some torches or lanterns or something. Eh. Where are they coming from? Or by the well. Who's ready to spend a lot of bullets? Oh yeah, this thing's gonna cost a fortune. Yeah, I don't use the M60 very often, and this is getting into why didn't anybody tell me tasting things tasted so good? <laughs> it's an M60, I figured it would have been obvious at this point. Oh no, our dirt. My dirt, my precious dirt. Oh, they are piling right under me. It's just like prom. Yep. They know the tastiest meat when they see it. Damn straight. <laughs> tastiest or just path of least resistance? That seems like a good pathing uh, plan for them, honestly. Sometimes I wonder why I play these with you guys. <laughs> And then you need one of us to come save you from two feet of water, and it all makes sense. I'm firing down through this grid, I'm kind of unimpressed with the shotgun. Really? Yeah. Wow, and that's right on top of it, too. That's pretty sad. Yeah. This is gonna have a range of five meters, things that hurt way more. Yeah, that, that, that range is completely unusable now. It's just. Shotguns are a joke. I used to be a big fan of them, but. You know the really sad thing? What? We get the automatic shotgun in A19. Oh yeah, that'll be useful. You can not kill things at a whole lot more ammo. Speaking of, for anybody curious, we have lightly discussed our plans for A19, and when it drops, what we'll probably do is uh, end up taking a week to reestablish our supply depot base, and then just continue from there with whatever new rules the game is presenting us with. Sounds good. Yeah, I figured. It made the most sense today, right? This is exciting! Yeah, right? The easiest base we've ever built, and it turns into one of those boring... Right. We're just shy it of midnight, the and they've done fuck all, so I think we're well on our way to establishing that... Exactly. The hypothesis is right. When you're building out of solid steel, or God forbid, solid stainless steel, your design just doesn't fucking matter, because it doesn't need it. It's just a durability check. Yep. Anything you, if you build enough solid steel or anything, anything you add to it is just frivolous at that point. You can just stare down and shoot. Mm -hmm. They can't get like realistically. That much no, Not like you realistically, know. you could have done this four by four with one person just standing on top of a block and be fine. Yep. Well, the question at that point is, this is a uh, also a check of ammo spent. Oh, this is going to cost a fortune, for sure. I know, but the, the thing about it is is that if it was just a straight durability check, then it would be no ammo spent, I think. To a point, yeah, I could agree with that. I think if... I, I Honestly, I think if you sat out here with the max number spawn and just let them chew on it, they still wouldn't get through it the duration of an evening. No. Mm, 
Uh, they wouldn't take it down. They'd put a pretty big dent in it, but it wouldn't fall over. No, they just they get pissed off for eight hours and then stop. It wouldn't last more than one if you're not, you know, chewing or keeping them from chewing on it a bit. But the general idea here, if you've got a base where you're just going to be shooting at them the whole time anyways, which, you know, most base videos from any creator calls for, uh, <laughs> if you're building out of these materials... Your base standing up. Yeah, it just, it doesn't matter. you got a corridor, you got some sort of castle, or any other crazy-ass design. Like, it's just not going to go anywhere, because you've got enough steel there, they can't do enough damage to it to really matter. So I think one of the questions I would ask as a follow-up to that is, is it possible to build a base design where you're using the simplest materials and not have to spend any ammo and have the base kill everything? The other end of that spectrum? Oh, fuck. Yes. Well, d define ammo, like brass ammo, or are we talking any projectile at all? It would have to involve dart traps or some kind of turret setup. Yeah, there would have to be a lot of turrets or, or dart traps or blade traps, spikes. I mean, if you're going to want the base to kill them so you don't have to shoot anything, is that what you're going, Nev? Yeah, but then and, and the ass. added the added difficulty of your act where the, the people are actually located is made of the least like durable materials so like cobblestone wood and cobblestone. or wood uh yes and i can tell you how you would do it alcatraz no not even if you were trying to if you were at a point where you're trying to build out of the cheapest materials possible and uh, you know alcatraz yes you could you could do it with enough blade traps and dart traps but if you're trying to stick to kind of that cheapest possible mentality the the thing you would have to do there is a field of spikes hmm uh, I mean, put, just put yourself on a put yourself on like a cliffside, and put a hundred rows of spikes in front of you. Alternatively, a wooden raptor pen, and the raptor pen, the the walls really didn't see much damage when we tested. True. That we had to. Spend would, we had to. We do. We were spending ammo there, though. Yeah. But yes, but you could set that up Make with like a baseline bigger. of dart traps you know some kind of turret set up more spikes everywhere sure. I mean, there are ways around us having to pull a trigger because we have automated trigger pullers all all over the place true true however it's also important to remember there that the wall is not taking that much damage uh for cement equals about three blocks of wood already gone yeah A wooden raptor pen would be spicy. I'd be most worried about the corner pieces there. If they started yeah. to hack on the corners, they're going to kick them down. There's a good chance they could kick down a corner before you even realize they were punching it. Well, I feel like those corners would probably be the, be mo the most robust with uh, dart trap. Sure. And you'd have four or five angles just spraying. So. Yeah, I, th I think it could be done. Without, with a little bit of thought, like it wouldn't like that be now. that difficult to put together a cheap base, especially if you were going to incorporate. Like, it seems weird to me, and it seems kind of fake and artificial to use wood and a lot of power training stuff. So, if you yeah, have the capacity yeah. to build a lot of, you know, dart traps or a lot of blade traps, you have the capacity to use, you know, cement and concrete and other materials. You don't have to use wood anymore, for the most part. But I think you could get to a point where you could do a high game stage, high count day, horde night with wood and no power if you did it correctly. That could be a challenge for us. That could be something to, to put together. I'd be willing to try and build it. I'll throw my hat in the ring. <sighs> You're hell-bent on getting a metal arch from that. If I design it right, then no. If you underestimate it at all, then I have a serious problem. I mean, I already know where I would put it on this map. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
I guarantee I could do it. We, we could do day, like, you know, whatever is coming up, the next or night or any of the next upcoming ones, with nothing but wood, and I could get us through it. No POI well, reverb, we, nothing like that. It would just be wood constructs. We do have the, uh, the fun one we've got coming. Oh, yeah, that's the exact opposite. That's how do you make a base out of wood and make sure that it shits the bed as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, uh, that. I think is the best contender on metal so far. Uh, I would be very yeah. Are you hells? Oh, I'm already leery about that one. It does make me nervous. Yeah, I think gonna, I'm gonna bring it as a metal base. I cannot heal. <laughs> if it's a metal base, I cannot heal. Yeah, but is Nothing that the designer you want to give generation. a metal? That's a, that's that's not an our build. That's a your build. Is that the designer you want to give the metal to? No, no, it's not. Well, if we do give him the metal, I can get one of those shitty little chocolate coins, <laughs> wipe my ass with it, and mail it to him. <laughs> you haven't guessed. Uh, that motherfucker. If you don't know who we're talking about. You have not watched <clears throat> one of our videos. That motherfucker would think it was a bitcoin and try to cash it. Hey! Didn't even take it down to concrete. Uh, he did one block. I think that one was already down. What was it? I think so. Hey, he knocked a block too. Yeah, yeah that one knocked a block. That one was then gone, actually. I don't even care about him popping because it is just it forces the durability check. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That took a bunch down to concrete finally. Eh. Yep. Change in direction. Are we done? God, that'd be really early. But we did just kill a fuck ton of them. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, they do seem to have, if not an, a full official limit, there is a point where they, you've just killed everything. Yeah. And we weren't slowing we found it again. spawns there at all. No shortage of demo, guys. Yeah. Killbots have a pre-programmed kill limit. <laughs> Knowing this, I sent wave after wave of my own men against them. And there's the bell on day 113. The block uh, went nowhere. No surprises there. Obviously, the ground here got pretty chewed up, but uh, in terms of the cube itself, the block itself, there's ping damage. There's nothing substantial. It was in no danger. None of the bars are bashed up. Everything is intact. The roof took a couple of cop spit and vulture pings, but it's fine. So for durability, uh, A, I think this is... Hard A. Yeah, this is... <laughs> duh. It's a solid steel cube. It's, it's yeah, it's survived. Yeah. Um, Imagine my surprise. Safety, are the Zeds controlled? Yeah. I mean, they pulled yeah. up under us. They came from different directions and ran to the wall, and we shot them in the top of the head. I think that's an A as well. Are the players in danger? I would say A- minus, just because we ate a lot of cop spit. At one point, I had to back off and heal just because of the sheer volume of it. Resources used. Gas is obviously a zip. There's no power here. Ammo is going to be a kick in the dick. So, myself, I came out with 8200, ended up with 3200 and change, so we'll call it a 5k ammo night for me, which is astronomically high compared to my usual. Uh, X, would you burn? I went the opposite direction, actually, and went to uh, burst fire for the majority of it, so I only burned about 3200. Alright, so we're at about 8200. Davian? I actually only burned about 600 shotgun shells. And, well, actually, hold on. Bleh. And about 200 explosive arrows. We'll call it... Damien's the pacifist of the group, we'll I swear. We'll call it 9,000. 200 explosive arrows. Yes, I'm the pacifist, obviously. <laughs> 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 Nev, what'd you end up using? 6,800. So we're at roughly 15, almost 16k. Hells? 5,600. How the hell did you get 6,800? 21-ish. So we'll call it a 21,000 ammo night, approximately. That's high. It's, uh, you know, it's less than what I predicted. I thought we'd be at 25 or higher. So I'm kind of surprised, Davey, and you kind of dragged the total down there, so congrats on that. That's, you yeah. know, uh, that's obviously a D. That's not a sustainable amount of ammo on any given night, but it, uh, you know, we knew that going into it. Cheese? Baked potato. There's no cheese here. No. Chance it's of being patched out? Zero. 
There's nothing. Yeah, this is... Now... I mean, they might lower the health on steel or reconfigure things there. Sure, that's possible, but this concept is going nowhere. This is as basic as it yeah. gets. So for final grade, and we're going to have an additional category after this, final grade, I think this is an A. It worked. It's high ammo, but that's the yep. only downside is the high ammo. Now the additional grading thing on this, because we're, we did this as an experiment, is did the hypothesis pan out? Is Did steel make up for the fact that there's no design here? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. This fared better than every other one, almost every other uh, base we've tested on, under the Your Shit heading. Some of ours have done substantially worse than this. So this goes to show that if you're building out of steel or, like I keep saying, God forbid, stainless steel, your design basically doesn't matter because the durability of those materials is going to carry you from one end of the night to the other. And the only thing you're doing with design is relieving your own boredom. Not to say that that's necessarily a bad thing, but it also doesn't mean that you should be, you know, trying to make 50 million view YouTube videos and getting upset when you don't get there because it's overthinking it. It just, this proves that complicated designs and complicated ideas for Endgame are not really necessary because the materials that you have access to will carry the day basically regardless. We had a lot of demos. You can see the pit they dug here on the side. We had a lot of demos crash up against this wall and pop. They started digging a little bit here underneath. You know, this isn't zero damage, but it would also take about five minutes to repair this. So right. if we were gonna, we could do multiple horde nights here from now until infinity and this would never have any problems. Closing thoughts. I, I think we can say that this, this proves it. Like steel and stainless steel bases are Basically just kidding themselves. Anybody else? You have nothing to worry about. You're in a giant steel cube. Yeah. They can't get through it. No, they, they just can't. They can't do enough damage to represent a major threat to your structure in one Horde Knight. The, the only way that you're going to have an issue with the steel-designed base is if you are dumb enough to make it a one-block deep anywhere. True. Then eventually they're going to ping through it. Like yeah. You see, there's a lot of blocks missing but if you even double it that's what 14,000 damage or there, yeah. durability to get through yeah th that's not happening especially with the way they like to change directions halfway through the horde nights now oh sure i think this proves definitively too that materials really matter when you're looking at the design videos that creators are putting up because if it looks too good to be true and there's some things like day 7,000 D-Day bunker videos where it's just a tiny little pillbox and they're riding it out. Well, yeah, you could because stainless steel is even more ridiculously tough. And if you you can get away with what would otherwise with any other material be a really stupid idea, but the durability will save your ass and make it look like it works when for practical purposes and, and for what people are hoping to get out of a base build video, it doesn't actually work. It's not doing anything. The design isn't the factor here. It's just the fact that you're using materials that they can't punch through fast enough. Yeah, we, we could have stood here and not shot at anything. This would have been more chewed up, but it would be, still be standing. Absolutely. It may not even be more chewed up at that point because it's just your initial launch horde beating on it for eight hours. You know, yeah. Who knows? We built an artificial mountain. Pretty yeah, much. Yeah, basically. They can't, they can't bring it down. If day 113 with five people at, at or near max level, if that horde can't crash it down, then it's not coming down. So coming up, we've got, uh, well, hell, uh, X, I know you're working on some craziness over there. I've seen that. We are calling that the, oh, uh, yeah. the White Castle build. Yeah, that's White Castle. Okay. And then Davian, we got yours coming up. The, uh, the weird wire platform oil rig thing. Yep. Any uh, any closing thoughts on either of those builds? Something we should be aware of ahead of time? Ladders, electric fence, blade traps. <laughs> <laughs> and for my own efforts, uh, probably in the next two to three weeks, easily, and I say this with no reservation, the single worst base idea I have ever seen. I threw up a little bit in my mouth when I watched this video. I continued to throw up in my mouth as I was building it and stepping back now that it's built.
There is no goddamn way this thing is surviving the night. It is so bad, for those of you that have watched the other vids in our series, that I went through and spent 45 minutes repairing the toilet as a place for us to flee to when that thing inevitably dies. So that's Before midnight. Be... I'm calling it now oh. before midnight. I, I, I think that's the smart money. I think that's the to burn before midnight. Here's my uh, prediction on that one. It's been an honor serving with you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. So we'll I'm coming with rockets, out. and I'm going to play Roto-Rooter. We're, we're going to have to get that knocked out before Alpha 19 drops. But like I said, when 19 comes out, we will uh, reestablish ourselves as quick as we can and pick things up as in as uninterrupted a manner as we can manage. As always, yep. thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate you, and we will catch you next time. Two things. Oh? Hot meat shits, and Woodle can suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.